Alrighty, everyone. Today we are going to be doing an idea that I think is quite silly. Essentially, if we just take out our iron door here, we're going to be trying to make a really simple, you know, iron door like this. And eventually build up to a really complicated one, like all the redstone bits. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So for the first iron door, I think that we're going to... This is really the most simple iron door you can make. You know, bang. Both the doors open at once, which, you know, I think is nice, but they technically don't have to. You could just do that, but that's weak. That's boring. So yeah, boom. Really quite simple. So now on to the next one. This is a very classic iron door design. It's with pressure plates, so it's really quite simple. Then you just, you know, put the redstone in. So put the redstone below the pressure plates. We're going to power it. And then repeater into a block. And repeater into a block. And that should. Okay, sick. So next, I want to work with block swappers. Now this is where things start getting actually complicated. So, a uh, really simple block circuit, I mean block swapper circuit that I've often seen on like Mumbo Jumbo's videos, is a little something like this. So you put the block with the redstone torch on its face and then just that down, like that. So now, if we just press the button, it swaps the blocks. So, so the pistons are going to be here. This will have the that block. And then here with this block. And now we just build up the redstone. Once you have all your redstone built up like this, um, I guess we should probably start working the inputs. So, oh, whoops, I dropped it. Uh -huh. I'm a big fan of the pressure plate. So a little something like that. And then, boom. All right, now that we have mirrored it on both sides, let's see if it works. Oh, oh yeah, that, that, okay, so you walk over. Oh, even better. Okay, so we just gotta activate it once. Okay, yeah, just like that. So then if you walk on the pressure plate, It'll open, when you walk off, it'll close. Really quite cool. So in the next one, we're going to be doing minecart redstone. So as always, we're going to be using pressure plates as our main input here, which can run into these two redstones, which will run into um, two powered rails, I guess, which will have minecarts on top of them. So how are we going to dispense the minecarts? That's the next question. To get the minecarts on, we can have a dispenser here, which will run down like that onto two powered rails. Um, we try to make sure that they're facing the right way, which will both be powered. Now we should see if we take our minecart and our button, and we press it, and we press it. The minecarts all line up there. They're not perfect, but they're, you know, good enough. And now if we stand on the things, the minecarts move. All right. So now we need to get into opening the door itself. All right. Now that's all done. So if we prime our system, then we stand on the thing. Oh, silly me. I forgot to power these. All right. Take two. If we prime our minecarts and stand on them, just like that. Oh, that's embarrassing. But still, the door should open. So now we need to close. So to close it, um, hmm. I guess if we put like lava underneath it, like that, um, and then we have two pistons like that, what happens if we power them? Oh, so that's going to break that rail. 
So we might have to change up some of the stuff, but the concept is still there. All right, so I've had to move everything a couple blocks back, but now if we prime it, stand on the pressure. Yeah. All right, I've changed those to powered rails. Hopefully, okay. So we prime it. We stand on the pressure plate. Oh god. Okay. It works. So now the door is open. So now if we were to retract that. Oh hey, sick. So now we just need to make the closing. Yep, this is some real spaghetti. But does it work? It's working, spaghetti. All right. So now we just connect our uh. Okay, so okay. door is closed. We prime the system. Get the minecarts there. Go on the pressure plate. Door opens. So now, if we click the kill button, alrighty, that's that door done. So for the next door, I want to make use of flying machines, and I think this one's going to be real fun. Alrighty, so. I've cleared quite the big hole, and the plan is quite simple. We're going to have to have pistons that will retract these blocks, which will make way for our flying machines to come up with redstone blocks on the top, open the door, and then their flying machines will have to go back down, and then our pistons will have to spit out their blocks again. So, yeah, let's get right into it. I'll admit, I'm not very experienced with this, so we'll see how it goes. But I think if we were to do something like this, which will face down, so this is going to have to be Abby Honey Blocks, but into something like that, and then we can have our redstone block right there. So, in theory, if we just get our activator here, and we do that, if it goes up, now if we activate that, oh god, it's not active, okay. Now if we activate that, does not go down. Oh, oh, okay. Yep, I'm done. So, these need to be obsidian so that the blocks don't get trapped on it. But now if we... Yeah, okay, so that was it. Okay, so I have mirrored them on both sides. I should probably put our iron door back in. That's the whole point of this. But now it's time to work on our input. Repeater, repeater, and then redstone. Okay, so that's the bottom part being updated. And now the top part I'm gonna, it's really quite simple, just like that. Oh, 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 okay, okay, yep. Um. Didn't think about that. Uh, so now, if we just place some repeaters instead, it goes down. All right. So if we do that, our flying machines come up. If we do that, our flying machines come down. But now we need to do these guys so we can have it, you know, flush with the wall. So in theory, this shouldn't be too complicated. We just run an observer or we will run an observer into it, um, like that. I'll see if this works. So that goes there. Huh? Yeah, I should have. 
I should have saw that coming, shouldn't I? Okay, now, now, if we put the block in for for testing purposes, stand on the pressure plate. Go off the pressure plate. It works. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip this onto the other side, and we can see it fully completed. Okay, so now that it's completely the same on both sides, in theory, if we stand on the pressure plate, comes up just like that. Go through the door. All right. Now I think it's on to the finale. Now this is just going to be a massive Rube Goldberg machine. All right, so I haven't tested it yet, but for the first part of the thing, the plan is you click the button, this um, pulse extender starts, which runs into these redstone clocks, which will make these observers, not observers, these droppers, fire out a lot of items, which will go up the elevators, down the water streams, and into the chest. Now, will it go the way I think it will? Let's see. Alright, well, we have some item lossage, but that's really no problem. You only really need one to have a comparator output. So, yeah, that's the first part done. Now, this next part I saw in a recent Mumbo Jumbo video. I will link it in the description. But essentially, he had a dispenser fire out water and it changed all of these concrete powders into concrete blocks. And then that updated observers, which gave a redstone output. So, in theory, if we do the same, uh, it should be good. Alright, so I have the system all built. Essentially, when you click this button, water will be dispensed out of the dispenser, you know, and then it will update all, well, we'll turn these all into concrete, updating all these observers, which will go on to here, turning off all the redstone torches, which will turn on our AND gate. So let's give it a test. And boom, yep, we have an output. So I'm going to have to manually reset all of these, but yeah, let's get on to the next bit. All right, so we have a big hole, right? And we need to go upwards. And I have quite the fun plan to go upwards. And it involves launching things with slime blocks. So let's see. In theory, if we remove this, bang, bang. OK, yep, it works. So now onto the next thing. All right, so in theory, the chicken spawns. Will he move? The chicken is not moving. Seems to be. Oh, never mind. He does move. All right, so the chicken will move eventually. All right. So spawn the chicken. Yeah, so it eventually moves. So for the next couple parts of the door, I think I want to include elements from our last things. So we'll use flying machines and rails. All right, so I've had to modify the flying machine a little bit to get it to work, but now, oh, oh god, oh no. All right, now after that slightly embarrassing feat, you can see it does indeed work. All right, so I offer the redstone, I mean the minecarts really, in, and we should see if we just click the button. Yeah, so the minecarts all get into place. So now we just need to do the entire contraption. Alrighty, here we go. For the record, I'm stressed. So, we hit the button. Items go up. They go into the hopper. The, the thing does that. Chicken. That all updated. That all went there. Anvil shot up. The chicken is waiting. We're waiting for the chicken. Come on. I need to get some seeds to... I'm just gonna... Whoa, seeds. What? Mm, yep, that's embarrassing. Alright. All right, after fixing that slightly embarrassing issue and checking everything again, I think now we're ready to go. So, press the button. That happens. Then all that happens. And that happens. And the chicken is spawned. Now we wait. Yes, 
Okay, now the thing goes, the minecarts are on, and our door is open. So sadly, we're going to have to reset this all manually, and the door is pretty blocked. So let's just review all the doors. Number one was the simple button. Number two was the simple pressure plate. Number three was the uh, slightly broken, because I had to for this system, um, lock swapper. The minecart system. The flying machine system. And finally, the big Rube Goldberg machine. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time.